Hi, this is Dr. Mike Derry, the Extension Poultry Specialist at the University of Connecticut. Today, I want to talk about general housing and just some general management conditions for keeping your good chicken flock, poultry flock healthy. As you see behind me, we have kind of a long, old-style poultry building, and further down, one of our old Connecticut two-story buildings. That, uh, again, two floors. These are floor flocks. These are birds reared on litter floor. So what you really need for your chicken, you need one sufficient space. For a regular leghorn type bird, adult bird, you want about two to three square foot per, per bird in your building. And if you're gonna take them outside for a run, you wanna make sure you have anywhere from six to eight square foot per bird outside in their runs. So that's an important thing to know, okay? So inside your building, you wanna make sure that you have a good lighting system. So if you're gonna maintain egg production throughout the year, chickens are what we call long day breeders. In other words, they need about a 15 to 16 hour light day to maintain their egg production. So once you have a young bird, okay, and you wanna bring it into production, at about 18 to 19 weeks, you wanna start stimulating them by bringing the length of the day up to about 16 hours. You do this by adding about 15 minutes per week, starting at wherever your lighting is now. If you, however, if you're rearing birds and you get your bird baby chicks in the spring, which most people do, in the fall, you're starting to see decreasing day length, which is good for growing your birds. So now, once the bird is about, like I say, 16 to 18 weeks of age, if you're in the fall, you're gonna be at a lower uh, number of hours of light, probably getting close to 13, 12, maybe even 10 hours of light. At that point, increase it by 15 minutes a week till you get to 16 hours of light. I like to have my birds on at 5 a.m. in the morning, the lights come on, at 9 p.m. at night, the lights go out. That gives them even 16 hours of light, and they're gonna maintain their egg production throughout the year. The building itself, all you really need is a clean, dry, draft-free space for your birds. How you build that or how you want to do it, that's up to you. There's hundreds of different coop designs out there. Again, the main thing is having the space, making sure you have a good feeder system, Make sure you have a good watering system. Make sure you have good litter on the floor that's easily raked and cleaned out. And you wanna probably clean out your house about once every six months if you maintain your litter quality. And I say once every six months because that's also when you're gonna do your deworming if you need to. And I generally deworm in the spring after the first thaw and in the winter after the first freeze and there are different deworming agents. You're gonna to have to talk to your veterinarian about that because everything is under veterinary feed directive today. So the basics on housing, like I say, any coop design that keeps the birds dry, draft free, easy for you to get in and out of to clean and keeps predators and the elements out. So we'll do another segment on other issues for poultry rearing. Thank you, this has been Mike Derry, University of Connecticut Extension Poultry Specialist.